What up YouTube, Sam here. Sorry about the messy setup, but um, a while ago, I this is actually my first video in a long time. Okay, this is just me from the future cutting in. Uh, this video I made back in May 11th of 2019. I've been lately collecting the Eldragos, and I actually just bought a fake, branded as a Takara Tommy. The... Okay, so I don't know if a Beyblade that's marked as Takara Tommy can even be fake, but this is the seller I got it from, and yeah, about a year, two years ago, it did not come with rubber on the Eldrago destroy from them. It was, the only giveaway was that it's an Eldrago destroy, and that this black is plastic, so... This black is supposed to be rubber. If you've ever bought a Japanese uh, Medio El Drago or um, El Drago Destroy, you'll know that basically the rubber parts on them are very, like, it's a different rubber than in the American versions. The American versions are very rubbery. Like, you'd immediately be able to start, like, pushing these. Like, you can bend these a little bit, but in the American versions, it's, like, soft rubber, and in this, it's, like, a hard, plasticky rubber. But you can still feel immediately, like... It's rubber, but with the fake one I got, it's very plasticky. Like you would like, it's not your average fake. The the thing that gave it away for me was that the stickers didn't line up perfectly with his weird like fins on his head. On this one, you can see that like the color in it is like deeper. And there's definitely like a bit more detail on the dragons. But I just wanted this video to be out there for other people who are looking for these Beyblades and are have maybe gotten a fake that was actually branded as a Takara Tommy. Like, so even when you're looking for like event Beyblades, I would be very careful because they do make fake. And I got it. It came in at a cardboard like this. It was just unbranded. It didn't say Takara Tommy. It didn't have all these stickers and everything all over it. Okay, so I think it was actually just like an unbranded or something that they listed and they called it Takara Tommy. Because I'm looking here. This is the l listing from Beyblade Wholesaler. Okay, so here I found the listing on AliExpress. Like, it might be unbranded, but the box that I got um, from the eBay seller, uh, the 8A Power Pig, and the one that had actual rubber on it, the one with actual rubber, the box had, like, all these markings and then a Manny import sticker. But the other one, it just came in, like, a blank cardboard box that didn't have any, like, Takara or WBBA writing on it. So if you're looking for it, make sure it has this kind of packaging. This is going to mean it's an official Takara Tommy event. But on Beyblade, basically, it's like a limited edition versus like it doesn't have like the usual Takara Tommy packaging because like it was a limited run versus a full run. But that's it for this video. And you can also see the different in, difference in gold. I'm just really upset because I got this for $20. And that's still more expensive than your typical fake. That was 20 it wasn't just 20 for that one, it was 20 for that and a Lightning Eldrago, but the Lightning Eldrago didn't have stripes on the horns, which the original one did, so that leaves me with more questions, because there's not many of those gold Eldragos out there, the original, the BB-23, but I got one that I ordered from Japan, it has stripes on it, and it has a different mold number on the inside, so yeah, that was sketchy, so it, it still was just like, that was way too much money for those two Beyblades. If, like, they don't even have the right painting and, like, the, the stickers don't fit on right, that's really annoying. This was about $50 US with shipping. Okay, it wasn't really that expensive two years ago, but now it is. Um, the price is raised to um, 45 but there aren't that many left. The seller doesn't have, like, as high of numbers as AliExpress, which, on top of the fact that I ordered one and it had real rubber, it makes me think that, like, they have a different product. So, um, I got this actually from 88 Power Pig 88 on eBay, so if you're looking to buy from them trustworthy seller they're selling genuine stuff but i would just say watch out for this it's it's a big thing it's not really a big thing but if you're interested in true beyblades and you want to support takar tommy even after they no longer make beyblades be aware thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video that's all for now Okay, and with all that, I didn't know this back then, but I found this thread on Reddit that's tracking Takara Tommy serial numbers to try and find, like, if there's difference in quality and production, and then which ones are, like, from the original runs, because, as you can see, most of those, like, older Beyblades, Earth Eagle, uh, Storm Pegasus, they came back out, came out back in 2009 and 2010, so they shouldn't have, like, a 2013 production code.
At least that's what I think anyways. I'm going to link this thread um, on Reddit down in the description below so you can go check it out for yourselves and then you can do your own research with this. I'm going to continue reviewing bays and I'm going to put them all up here so you can all see them and I'll show you guys what, my, what I found and what experiences I've had with Beyblade in 2020. 10 years since Metal Fight came out. Enjoy the Wii music.